Plüschi Witsch, Plüschi Witsch. Today's subject is pretty hard and uh, it's pretty important, especially nowadays. If you know, you know why. So I would like to revolve our conversation around one comment that was left under one of my videos from Vegan Deficiency series. Basically, the person shared their you know, kind of experience, some general words, and then added that this video needs to be edited or taken down for misinformation. And this comment literally stood out from all the variety of comments that I get, including the ones that, include, that, that are direct like outrage and insults. If you know, my policy on the channel is full self-expression. I respect self-expression of everyone. And this attitude of mine is based on the fact that I know that I have freedoms that I cherish. And I want to keep them for myself. And I know that if I start judging somebody else's freedoms of expression, that, okay, freedoms that do not impinge on freedoms of others, okay, we agreed on that, impinge or infringe. If I start calling to limit somebody's freedom of expression and freedom of self-realization. This means that tomorrow, some of my freedoms will be taken out because the world is a dynamically developing field. It's, it's, it always develops, it always moves. The world is not like it was 10, 20, 30, 50 years ago. In 10, 20, 30, 50 years later, we will have new, new leaps of different phenomena. And when somebody starts saying that something needs to be limited, prohibited, something that just exists in the informational field for everyone to use. And, and we should understand that the world is still an experimental field. Yes, for us, it's for, okay. We have relatively short lifespan, right? So like one century. And uh, humanity as a whole develops through experimentation. There were several acts of trial and error, certainly cultural shifts and moves, uh, big events that shaped how we appear nowadays. And what we do now will shape how the world will appear later. So right now, as in every other stage in history before us, we are testing different phenomena. We're testing different approaches. And, the, and so when somebody says that something, some information needs to be blocked, be it an opinion, or like I do, I deliver scientific insights. When we say that something needs to be blocked, you're literally preventing the world from, nor from developing normally. From developing where it's supposed to go. This, from the perspective of scientists, and I'm probably pretty spoiled because I'm accustomed to the scientific discourse. When people gather, when they bring evidence, when they bring the papers, when they bring uh, the experimental data, and they discuss different hypotheses, the, where they discuss different evidence from different papers, so they, they try to overlay experimental data in what other authors observed, and you try to draw conclusions from the, all those observations, I'm probably spoiled by that because I believe that if somebody got silenced, if somebody decided to just hold on to their evidence, hold on to their knowledge and ex experimental results, it would violate the normal scientific pro process. You always strive to expand the amount of knowledge in the amount of opinions and the amount of experimental data in order to draw the conclusions, in order to find the optimum, the, the peak. In general, the nature, nature itself develops by trying different outcomes. But compared to one human life, nature has infinite, relatively like infinite amount of time to try them. That's why within our life, I believe that we are in control of a very, of only of very immediate and uh, acutely important problem solving. So this is what we are addressing in life. Our personal, acutely important, uh, immediately relevant problems. So this is our scope of responsibility typically in life. People who are entrepreneurs, they address uh, the problems of many people, they produce products. So when somebody tells that some part of human knowledge, of human heritage, is misinformation, and only information that I like is information, and let's say that this person knows this much about the world. They know that here, like in this domain, veganism is good, right? They literally, what they want, they want to live in this world. 
But the world is much more than this because this is only what humans know so far. But they want to live in this and they want everyone to live in this. It's counter-developmental. It's anti-human evolution. It's anti-natural laws. Because we are, I've been always saying that, a human is a self-aware projection of nature. Okay, or with certain biological limitations. Nature gave us only so much sensory and cognitive uh, abilities to learn, to learn about the world. But in some sense, we are the projection of some segment, some domain of nature. And nature is expanding. The amount of chaos is expanding. It's always increasing number of events. It's always the increasing number of outcomes new tests, new, new, like, new statistical tests, new probation of different phenomena. But you want, because I don't know what, this is literally the cell that you want to live in. And again, everything that I was saying, this comment was under the video, imagine, imagine the situation the, the, for the context. I quit veganism due to health reasons. I started eating meat as an experiment because I, I believe in that we need to test experimentally our hypothesis instead of sitting and hypothesizing, being dissatisfied. So I felt dissatisfaction. I tried running an experiment. Experiment worked. I didn't know why exactly. I didn't know why exactly my previous experiment with veganism, experiments with veganism failed. So I started researching. I wanted to explain because I want to strategize my further movement. That's why I needed knowledge. So as an engineer, I'm back engineering the problem. This is why I'm reading the papers, trying to explain why that, that, that like unicorn land of veganism in the past was not true. Because I was living in this domain before. And then I suddenly learned this much. In addition to that, and I realized where I was wrong and how to do it right, such that I feel, uh, su such that in the given moment, my system drifts towards better quality of life, such that I can fulfill other goals that are, that are you know, kind of like genetically programmed in me. That's the context. What I want to tell you guys, if you are trying to silence someone, to prohibit someone to express themselves, their thoughts, their understanding of life, you should uh, think that in 10 years, maybe five, you don't know what will happen. And you, in something, something that's so important for you, something so critical, you will be challenged. Your values will be challenged. You will be shut down. Because when you start supporting prohibition, when you start supporting oppression of people, the system will come after you. If you all want to collectively go in 1937 in Soviet, Soviet Union, you will not like it. There's a very good novel called Children of Arbath. And you should read it if you find it in translation. There's a very nice, not chapter, but uh, part of this book that's called Fear. You don't know what you're dealing with. You don't have a generational trauma that's induced by that. I respect people's freedoms because I respect my freedoms. I understand the value of freedom. There was a good saying that if you choose between freedom and safety and you end up choosing safety, you will not see neither freedom nor safety. Another thing that comes from me is that you only have free will within the bounds of your awareness. So this is your free will. This is what you want for a free will. It's literally the analogy, right? Somebody comes to your, to your domain where you're expressing your freedom, where you're expressing your knowledge, your experience, your thoughts. Let's say that it's your apartment. Somebody comes to your apartment and tells that, oh, your, your couch looks disgusting. I don't like it. Throw it away. No, buddy, like, go to your apartment, buy the same couch, and throw it away if you're so keen on throwing away couches. I like this couch. I don't want to throw it away. It suits me. It works for me and for my apartment. With that, too, open your channel. 
open your channel and express that you completely disagree. Do it. If you take responsibility for expressing your opinion publicly, deliver it to the standards that you find high quality, gather people around you, and deliver this message to them. Or, I don't know, if you're keen specifically on throwing things away, on canceling something, you can cancel yourself. You can open the channel and complain about yourself. You can uh, state that you're misinforming and uh, hate yourself. In either scenario, if what I'm saying is perfectly right, and I have tendency to think that a lot of the things that I delivered, they, they are right within the bounds of conditions that I presented in my videos. If it's right, it should exist. It should exist for the benefit of people who can benefit from them, from that information. If it is wrong, it has all right to exist. Just as Dr. Greger, who recommends everyone to eat cyanide, exists and everybody celebrates it that has the same exact right to exist as that information as information that everyone should go on 40-day juice fast it exists people should go sh people should have access to this information because it works for some people but moreover philosophically even if it's wrong let it prove itself wrong let it go through the test of time Humanity went through so many things that were, that in the end were wrong, that were thought to be right. Women were painting their faces with lead and other crap, whatever, they, whatever else they were doing. There were so many crazy traditions in the world. We eradicated because it's, it proves itself to be wrong. Veganism is, exists right now. It can be proven to be wrong. It can be proven to be right. I personally, for myself, proved that it's wrong. I found evidence why. So this was one of the events for me in my, in my personal experience and experience of many people as we find out. This was one of the directions of human development that was found to be wrong experimentally. So we move on. We experimented with it and we move on collectively and uh, personally. We can find out that, for example, we're now using formaldehyde for our furniture. Later, it will be found to be a super strong, dangerous thing. We all have uh, the, the internet the Wi-Fi routers in our apartments that deliver microwaves. There will be some research that will find that it was wrong to use it. If humanity goes through those phases. They introduce something new. They test it in real life because at first they didn't know much about it. They were like, oh, cool idea. Let's try it. Th they try it, and then decades later, they find out that it's, it was wrong after all. Cholesterol was deemed to be the most dangerous thing on the planet. 50 years, it was deemed to be the, be the worst thing on the planet. And then suddenly, oh, cholesterol is not as bad as we thought. <sniffs> it's a dynamic field. Every information should exist. Every piece of information should exist. Because from that, we're forming a complete picture. This, this, will bring you to the, mon to, 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 the, to the monkey state. Also, since I already brought up Russian classics, read Dog's Heart or watch a movie about it. Take everything away from people. And uh, don't let them think and okay if you disagree with what i'm saying point by point i'm giving point by point i'm giving article by article write down what you disagree with i'm a, again i'm a professional scientist this is my work this is me i i, I learned I, I i went through the grad school i i separate myself from my work emotionally i won't be hurt you can tell me that this, what this study shows, 
does not apply. There is a contradiction to this study. This is what I found. La la la. Do that. Moreover, these studies are literally, literally they are written by other people, not even by me. I'm only summarizing them into and in performing analytics. Why not do that? Much easier to just like cancel, prohibit, delete, remove. Being able to step outside of your system of belief, to step outside from the circle of your concepts, to seek other knowledge is the biggest virtue of an intellectual. And if you choose, again, I will reiterate, you only have free will within the scope of your knowledge and awareness. And the l l less free will you have, the more oppressed you are, by definition. If you're not willing to put your belief to test, if you're not willing to challenge your belief, then why do you attack others who are willing to do that? Is it some insecurity? Because somebody does something that you are not, that you're scared of trying, that you're scared of doing. Because of that, you, have, you feel like envy, you feel jealousy, and that, that's why you feel like you're threatened and you want to attack. I feel sorry, but... Only you can control your impulses, your emotions. I'm not responsible for that. Not bad product, bad business cannot withstand any negative review. And anything, not even negative review, but anything that challenges the concept of the business, being able to face the challenge openly is virtuous. It's the symptom of strength. Prohibit, prohibit. No, that's a position of weakness. And I suspect why. It's being practiced. And also understand that, okay, vegans, for example, they were a marginalized group for a while. They were, like, they were uh, thrown off society a little bit. They, it, it was very challenging to be a vegan for a while. I guess right now there is some compensation because finally corporations notice that there, that there is a lot of financial potential and promotion of veganism. And uh, since there's a lot of money in it, they started investing in this crap. So now vegans feel empowerment and they want revenge. So now they want to silence everyone because it's like this first spurt of uh, freedom and power. It's like that uh, new money, you know, type th th that like buy all, all logos and brands and shit. And uh, take pictures with yachts and, and models. And, uh, maybe it's something like that. This like, you know, how it was like this and now it's like this. It will decay. Naturally, oscillations they usually decay. Unless they're currently, unless they're constantly supported by some um, power. In real life, there is no perpetual motion, basically, because they're always dampening effects. So this oscillation will die out soon. Pri pri primarily, for your own sake, if you have impulses to limit somebody's freedom, remember that when you are judging someone, when you are uh, calling to cancel someone, you are going to be canceled next. That's, the, that's how it works. Think about that. Where is the guarantee that your uh, canceling hero on the horse right now won't be canceled next? You are just as consumer in this system of the world as anybody else. Nothing distinguishes you. The fact that current agenda is like in favor of you it can change at any, it flips at any point. Just like stock market, like responds, right? To, to somebody said something on, on the news. That's, that's what can happen with you. And then given everything else about the respect of information and acquisition of human heritage in the world, especially when, when, it, when we need to find all of it, we need to scramble to find all of that because Internet is just exploding with the amount of information that is contradictory. That is, um, sometimes it, it, it changed and turned again in favor of businesses. When we live in such competition for information, 
it is especially important to keep the domain for everyone to deliver information. This is the way everybody can be heard nowadays. Again, if you feel the urge to cancel someone, to silence someone, go open. It's a free platform. Open YouTube. Start a podcast. Go create an account on Spotify with your, with your podcast if you don't want to show yourself. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Rumble, I don't know, whatever. There are so many platforms. Spread your message. Don't be weak and covert. Just again, for your sake, feel the impulse to block someone, to silence someone. Focus on yourself. 